hi welcome to this channel and this video and in this video we are going to compare diploma in general agriculture as offered by kenya national examination council that is next and agriculture engineering which is offered by tiveta sindak then the next course i want to check is agricultural technician level six which is agricultural engineering the curriculum is de developed by Tivet Sidak and as well as the examination is offered by Tivet Sidak for the agriculture technician course level 6 which we said is uh, agriculture engineering here the units are not grouped as in the previous one where you have seen module 1, module 2, module 3 but here the various units are grouped into basic units of competency then there is common units of competency and then there is four units of competency and for the common units of competences, the trainees should be able to demonstrate knowledge on communication skills, demonstrate knowledge on digital literacy. This unit is intended to impart our knowledge and skills on ICT, demonstrate knowledge on employability skills, then demonstrate knowledge on environmental literacy, and finally demonstrate occupational safety and health practices. Then there are the common units of competency. And the first one is applied engineering mathematics. We are going to compare the mathematics we have seen in general agriculture and the mathematics you see here for the agriculture technician level six. Then there is workshop processes and materials. There is a mechanical science. There is fruit mechanics. You can see the course now is becoming more of mechanical engineering. Uh, there is thermodynamic, which is the study of heat flow. There is a material science and metallurgy processes, a study of various materials that are used in the engineering processes. Then there is electrical principles, so here they also do a bit of electrical engineering, uh, because this one is more of an engineering course than more of than agriculture course. And then there is a, a technical drawing. I've skipped the basic units of competency, and I want us to take our time on the common unit of competency and the core units of competency. And the first uh, common unit of uh, competency is applied engineering mathematics. You noted that the mathematics in agriculture engineering is slightly different than the mathematics in uh, general agriculture. So the first topic you do is uh, applied algebra. There is uh, applied trigonometry and hyperbolic functions. You can see these are similar to those we did for mechanical engineering and electrical engineering. Apply complex numbers. So apply means you are supposed to apply the knowledge you have gained here in the area that is agriculture technician level 6 or the agriculture engineering apply coordinates geometry uh, carry out binomial expansions calculus uh, which involve integration and differentiation ordinary differential equation which is the second year of study in electrical laplace also in second year of study in electrical power series so notice this is an engineering course that's where even the mathematics topics are similar to those we saw for mechanical and electrical engineering then there is a statistic there is Fourier series which is also in that year of study for electrical engineering and mechanical engineering so and then there is a vectors and matrices both of them are also in mechanical and electrical engineering then there is a numerical method and concept of probability two more down here there is also perform commercial arithmetic and estimation and measurement. Uh, agriculture technician level 6 course, uh, you need to be ready for math. Uh, so at uh, again workshop practices, the trainees are supposed to gain knowledge on how to maintain farm, machinery and workshop tools and equipment. Next common unit of competency is apply mechanical science. The first thing they are supposed to gain knowledge on force and force systems. They should also demonstrate knowledge of moments concept of friction or principles of friction demonstrate understanding of uh, motion in engineering so you can see this is more of uh, physics that we do in high school we also need to have knowledge on uh, work energy and power again all this is physics there is perform machine calculation demonstrate understanding of gas principles apply heat knowledge, apply density knowledge, apply pressure principles. So all this is physics. Next common unit, apply principles of fluid mechanics. 
uh, this is more of mechanical engineering again the trainee will uh, require to demonstrate knowledge on understanding of fluid flow they should be able to operate pumps so the knowledge on fluid mechanics is uh, geared to you being able to work operate pumps the next one is uh, apply the dynamic principles thermodynamics is basically study of heat flow but there's more to that there is a steady flow process performing a steady flow understanding perfect gas generating steam but simply is more of things to do with a system that operates at high temperature and also the involved flow there is perfect gas there is generating steam especially the steam that is used in production processes uh, in the uh, agriculture sector fuel and combustion heat transfer understand heat exchanger air compressors gas turbines and all that next unit is apply material science and metallurgy and here trainees will gain knowledge on how to analyze the properties of various engineering materials they need to gain knowledge on extraction of various ma engineering materials and so on so this is more of uh, the various materials that are used in engineering, especially metals. And they will gain knowledge on all these areas. Plus all these various materials such as ceramic and composite materials and so on. In addition to metals. Heat treatment of metals. Apply electrical principles. And here trainees are supposed to gain knowledge on uh, various concept of electrical engineering, the various terms that are used in electrical engineering. So they will do a bit of electrical principles. They also need to understand the difference between AC and DC circuits. They need to understand the basics of operation of various electrical machines and also adding of various structures, especially the house, the animal heads and so on. For the core units of competency, there is a unit on how to operate agricultural and related production machineries and equipment, uh, construct farmstead structures and farm rooms, perform produce and post harvest activities. Then there is a perform soil and water conservation practices, demonstrate understanding of tractor and power units. And there is a, a unit of uh, irrigation activities, applied renewable energy technology in agriculture such as uh, weed and uh, solar. Then store refrigeration and air condition systems during post harvest activities and then manage agricultural engineering and data is more of project management. And finally, there's another one down here. Uh, operate agricultural harvesting machinery and equipment. Construct homestead structures and farm routes as trainees will gain knowledge on how to design and construct various structures in the farm so they will conduct farmstead feasibility survey planning do design for farmstead structures and roads construct farm road drinking farmstead structures construct design farmstead structures training should be able to perform produce post harvest activities and the various post product activities are transportation shopping cleaning grading of the produce drying and cooling processing packaging adding the farm produce and so on. Next is perform soil and water conservation activities. Adias training will gain knowledge on designing soil and water conservation structures, develop structures for controlling soil erosion, establish structures for water harvesting. Our next image is demonstrate understanding of structures and power units, demonstrate understanding on the tractizing system and transmission systems, perform irrigation activities, we are training to gain knowledge and skills on performing feasibility study, survey, designing and preparing working drawing, preparing bill of quantities and uh, costing, supervise construction of irrigation structures, testing, commissioning. And then there is applied renewable energy technology in agriculture. We will gain knowledge on various sources of renewable energy such as solar and weed. Design the various structures for harnessing the renewable energy. And there is also install refrigeration and air conditioning systems. So there is conducting site survey design refrigeration and air conditioning systems. That are knowledge they are supposed to gain. Installation of electrical wiring. Installation of refrigeration and air conditioning systems. Our next unit is operate agricultural 
harvesting machinery and equipment. Uh, here are training to gain knowledge on how to operate various agricultural harvesting machineries. So by the first thing is to select agricultural harvesting machinery, prepare the agricultural harvesting machinery for operation, uh, operate the machine and perform post-operation activities. Uh, post-operation activities are the maintenance activities. So that is it. I hope now you can be able to compare between the two courses and select the best one. We have seen for the agriculture engineering, more of mechanical engineering plus a little bit of uh, civil engineering and a little bit of uh, building construction and a little bit of electrical engineering. So uh, when you are pursuing agricultural engineering, you just have to understand the small mathematics to it. We can now meet in the next video where we will be discussing courses in the food sector. I believe I have not wasted your time in this video and certainly not in the next video.